Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. I want to start off by saying thank you to all of our Booster Club members for your many donations and much more your prayers. We visited faraway countries and strange lands. We've even spoken to dignitaries and were detained for spreading the glorious gospel in Cuba. The truth is that the descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel were scattered throughout the world. Help us on our journey as we continue to raise up the nation of Israel. 12 tribes worldwide. Join or donate today. Shalom. So David, my question to you, right, is you said earlier, you say you smoke. I want to know why you smoke. Um, stress. Stress, okay. What else? Um, it's habit. Huh? Just a habit. Habit, okay. So, but the beginning of it was stress, right? Yeah. So, normally what I see, right, when, because I used to smoke, right? So what I see with people who smoke is there's a lot of stress going on in your life, right? There's a lot of issue that's going on in your life. And what we do is we try to pick something up to get the issue to go away. Right. You follow what I'm saying? So when we think about it, we gotta wonder why, where does the stress even start, right? Where does that mindset of stress or being bothered or having problems even start? Where does that come from, right? Okay, Deuteronomy 28 and give me verse 65. Look at this, because I want you to know when you go home, why you smoke, right? right? Because you said it's because of stress. Right. Well, we need to get to the root cause of that, right? right? If it's stress, then where does the stress come from? All right, let's figure it out. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 65. And among these nations shalt thou find no ease. So among these nations, you found no ease, David. Every day you wake up, you got to go to work, right? You have kids? You got bills? Yeah, you got bills. I got bills too. They got to get paid, right? So if them bills don't get paid, right, there's no ease on you. That first of the month come, they got to be paid. So you're working all month to make sure they get paid. Read it again. And among these nations shalt thou find no ease. Neither shall the soul of thy feet have rest. So you walk around day in, day out, you get no rest. You know why? Because when you get off of work, you're thinking about, dang, I got 1,500, okay, 1,500, I'm gonna calculate that if I take 700, 800, okay, I'm gonna be able to pay my bills. So every day you're thinking about that, right? Most of our people live, how, how do they live? What do you think about financial? Stressful out. No, 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 check to what? Check to check. Yeah, that's what our people yeah, live, check yeah. to check. So again, when we say having ease, if I got some money in the, in the bank, if I have a business that I run, you might have ease. But our people aren't in that position. We live in check to check. All right, read it again. And among these nations shall thou find no ease, uh -huh. neither shall the soul of thy feet have rest. Uh -huh. But the Lord shall give thee there a... Oh, wait, 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 wait. You heard that, right? Where did, where, who, who? who? The Lord. All right, read it again. He's listening. David's listening. Let's read it again. But the Lord. God said he's going to do this to you. You follow that, right? Yeah, yeah. So what do you do when you pick up the cigarette? What you trying to go against? Think, think about God first. No, no, no. But what I'm, try, what I'm asking you is when you pick up a cigarette, right? We just read God is going to do it to you, yeah. right? God is going to give you this mind. Read it again. Finish the verse. The Lord shall give thee a trembling heart. God says he's going to give you a trembling heart. Heart, right, is your mind. Let's prove it to him. Heart is your mind according to the Bible, right? So what he's saying is, I'm going to give you a racing mind. Is your mind racing right now? You ain't thinking about what you got to go do today? No. Oh, so you relax. Yeah, I'm relaxed. I'm okay, all praises. All praises. All praises. But I mean every single day you wake up. Are you thinking about, hey, I got to do this, I got to do this. Is your mind racing? Yeah. God said he was going to put that on you. That's, right. That's what you would call what? You, you said it. It's, you said it's the reason you smoke. You would call that what? Stress. There it goes. It's in the Bible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a curse of God. That's right. It's a curse of God. Read that. So now let's see what the heart is, according to the Bible. Luke chapter 24 and verse 38. And he said unto them, Why are ye troubled? And why do thoughts arise in your hearts? So he said, Why do thoughts arise in your hearts? Yeah. You can't think with this. No. You think with this. Right? right? right. So your, your mind is your heart. That's what the Bible is saying. Now let's go back and read it. God says he's going to give you a trembling heart. Read that. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 65. And among these nations shalt thou find no ease. Neither shall the soul of thy feet have rest. But the Lord shall give thee there a trembling heart. God said he was going to give you a mind that trembles. It's shaking. 
Every day you wake up, you're shaking. You're like, oh man, what do I got to get done? If I smoke this cigarette, it's going to calm me down. That's what we think. Keep reading. Look what else he said he was going to do. And failing of eyes. So you was going to look at things and you was going to want to do something about it, but you was going to fail to be able to do anything about it. Read. And sorrow of mind. What's sorrow? Sorrow is negative. Okay, what else? Default. Sorrow, feeling sorry for yourself. Feeling sorry for yourself. That could also be what? Uh, sadness, uh, negativeness. Which leads to what? Stress. There it go, David. That's what I want you to understand. Right. Your stress is ordained by God. Right. Right. You can't get rid of stress with a cigarette. No. It's no way. That's if right. God if God ordained it, there's no way a cigarette's going to get rid of it. That's right. Keep reading. And thy life shall hang in doubt before thee, and thou shalt fear day and night. God said you was going to fear. Fear. Think about when you're afraid of something. How you feel? Yeah, there you go. You're paranoid. When you fear something, you're paranoid. Read. And shall have none assurance of thy life. God said you want to have any assurance of your life. You will wake up, right? You'll be riding in your car, and you'll be driving, and then you'll see the cops. you see the blue and whites behind you. you say, oh, shoot, they're about to pull me over. I might die if they pull me over, right? Sis, we're talking about how we have fear and stress on us, okay? That's what we're talking about, right? I'm talking to David. What's your name? Come on, come under the shade. Come get the baby under the shade. We're talking about how you have stress according to the Bible. You still here? You still here, David? Stay with me, right? Yeah. Read that. In the morning, thou shalt say, "Would God it were even." In the morning, you're gonna wake up. You're gonna say, "I wish it was the end of the day." That's what you're gonna say. The Bible said that would happen to you. In the morning, you're gonna wake up and you're gonna say, "I wish it was the evening." That's what our people do. We wake up and I say, "I can't wait to get everything over with so I can just chill out." And listen to this. Read. And at even, thou shalt say, with God, it were the morning. And at the end of the day, you're going to say, I can't wait to get tomorrow over with. Right. Imagine a life like that. That's a life of the Israelites, according to the Bible. Right. That's what we live in. We wake up and we say, I can't wait for today to get, be over. Right. Then we go to sleep and we say, I can't wait to get the next day over with. We hate our lives. So when you talk about stress, stress is ordained of God. Give me Sirach 30. Give me Sirach chapter 30, right? And give me verse... You know what I want? All right. So the Bible is telling you, right, that stress is on the children of Israel. That is a curse that God ordained. So the point I'm making to you is a cigarette is not going to take that away. The only thing that will take that away is keeping the commandments of God. But when that stress comes upon us, this is what we do, right? This is what we turn to, right? No, no, listen, I'm going to show you what you turn to right now. It's, it's your own thoughts. It's not the Bible. I know you're nodding your head. I want you to start turning to the Bible, but that's not what you're turning to yet. Right now, you turn into your own thoughts. So read what the Bible says about that. Sirach, chapter 30 and verse 21. Give not over thy mind to heaviness. God said not to give your mind over to heaviness, sis. What's your name? T.T. T.T., right? T.T. and David. God said not to give your mind over to heaviness. That's what the Bible says. But our people, when we heavy, we lean on that thing. We like sad songs. That's what we like. We like soul music that make us feel depressed. God said not to give your mind over to that. God said that you're supposed to lean on me and be happy and be joyous. Read. And afflict not thyself in thine own counsel. What happens is we don't read the Bible. So what we lean on is whatever we feel. If we feel sad, that's what we're in today. It's a sad day. If we feel upset, it's an upset day. We don't know how to go in the Bible and open it and read and learn how we should be handling ourselves. It makes our men emotional. It makes our women masculine. Because we lean on our own understanding. Read. The gladness of the heart is the life of man. God said you should have gladness in your mind. Gladness in your mind. A lot of our people don't have gladness in our mind. We walk down the street and our heads is like this. You walk past a brother that's just like you from the 12 tribes of Israel. You try to say hello to him, he's looking at the ground. Why is that? Because he's broken down by this world. God said we should have gladness in our mind. But that's not happening because we're not applying the laws of God. A cigarette's not going to take that away. Read. And the joyfulness of a man prolongeth his days. Read that again. And the joyfulness of a man prolongeth his days. The Bible says you live longer when you're happy. Think about that. They really think about that. How many of people you know that you can call and they're going to tell you something good? If you call your mamas right now, they're going to tell you something bad, ain't they? Because <laughs> it's such and such did this. And then she did this. It's just stress. All it is is stress. It's not teaching us how to apply the commandments of God. Read it again. And the joyfulness of a man prolongeth his days. The joyfulness of a man 
prolongeth his days. We need to find happiness on this earth. Yeah, we're going through oppression, but we're the greatest people on the planet. That's what we're here to tell you. You are the greatest thing ever walking. You are special. I know you never heard that. I know you walk around sad. You're special. You, that's why you're going through things. Think about the people who can survive this that we look at on these signs and still be here today to have a conversation with me. Think about that. You come from those people. You are the greatest thing on this planet. Give me Proverbs 3 and verse 2. Start at verse 1. Proverbs 3 and verse 1. Yep. Last one on that. Proverbs 3 and verse 1. Proverbs chapter 3 and verse 1. My son, forget not my love, but let thine heart keep my commandments. Let your mind keep the commandments. Read. For a length of days and long life and peace shall they add to thee. Read it again from the top slower. My son, forget not my love, uh -huh. but let thine heart keep my commandments. Go ahead. For a length of days. God said if you kept the commandments of God, it would give you length of days. Read. And long life. And long life. And here's the point right here. Read. And peace. And what? And peace. You want peace from all that stress you're dealing with, David? Right. A cigarette's not going to give it to you. What will give it to you? God. Keeping the commandments of God, David. You understand? That's how you stop smoking cigarettes when you lean on the Lord. All right? We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling These are how our men repented at heart The scriptures is proof IUIC, we deliver the truth